<laughs> well, this is exhilarating. Oh my God. Please like me. And by that I mean pretend. I mean it. You. So this is a story about, um, about my dad, more than anything. And I didn't even realize it was a story until I was putting together my OkCupid okay profile, <laughs> which happened two years ago for approximately three weeks. So if you are like Minnesota man 48, the one guy who commented about this, this is the story about my Roadrunner ring. Um, I thought that was like the most interesting thing about me. It's not, I promise, but this is just to really fulfill the promise that I had sort of tacitly made to him online, and then I completely got off of OkCupid forever. Seriously, this stuff's messed up. <laughs> so, my dad. This is a story about my dad. And he had come into some money when I was around nine years old um, through my grandparents' estate. And he decided the best way to use this money would be to take my brother and I, he's a little older than me, on a road trip across the United States. We would go to Arizona and then turn back around and come back home to Pennsylvania. And you should know also that my parents are divorced and have been since I was two weeks old, roughly. You should pity me a little. <laughs> well, they've been divorced for a long time. Anyway, right. So. I agree, that was a great idea. It was such a good idea because I didn't really see my dad very often. It was important that we make connections. And I didn't know what a road trip was because I was nine. And so I was like, hey, can we get my ears pierced on the way to whatever, Arizona? I love jewelry. And so he was like, yes, because he was dying to please me and my brother. And so we did that. We started our trip off with me getting my ears pierced. And I spent the next two weeks trying to avoid, avoid ear infections. <laughs> It was kind of miserable, actually, in the like dust and heat of Arizona. So we visited a bunch of battleships because my dad's all about the Navy, and we ate at so many Shoney's restaurants. I don't even know if those still exist, or are they just like Southern? Okay, they are still around. Best Westerns, all of them, I'm pretty sure. And so we get to Arizona, and we spend 60 minutes in the air in um, a helicopter going over the Grand Canyon. And I, I mean, I promise, if that's the only thing you do in your life, that's just enough, it's fine. Um, those were the top 60 minutes of my life, definitely. But this isn't even a story about that. This is a story about my Roadrunner ring. And so we're headed back home by way of like the tip of Nevada and trying to cover more states. And um, we had to stop for fuel. And I guess there's one place in Nevada to stop for fuel, it's like this big place um, near some really well lit place. It may have been Las Vegas, but I don't know. I was nine um, and I had my ears pierced. So we, um, I go inside because I need to go to the bathroom like every second, even now. And, and I didn't notice anything being weird there, but on my way out, my dad seemed kind of weird, kind of fidgety, a little strange. And he's already kind of strange because he's always going through withdrawal from something. Um, and he hadn't drunk anything that whole trip. So I was like, yeah, my dad's just weird. And he's like kind of fidgeting with the money at the front counter, like, uh, uh, yeah, I got gas. And he's like, I mean, I didn't get gas. I mean, I just, I mean, I got fuel. <laughs> and like, there's this nervousness between him and the cashier. I'm like, why, why? And then I see all these sterling silver rings. And I'm like, dad, one second, I need one of those rings in my life right now. And he wanted so badly to please me. And he was trying this whole trip not to be reckless and, and to be a good dad. And so he was like, sure, even though he was visibly uncomfortable. Looking back, I'm like, he really wanted to leave there so bad. But I'm like checking all of them out. And finally, I choose this one that I've worn for the last 18 years. And it, it has Roadrunners on it. I have no idea why that stuck out to me. But it's the best ring in the world, obviously. So we finally pay and get out to the car. And my brother and my dad are in the front seat. And they let out these giggles. My dad has this kind of Ron Swanson he giggle like, <laughs> Or someone did it. And I was like, what is so funny, guys? And they refused to say anything really for a while, but I'm really persistent and annoying. And so my brother finally was like, Carolyn, did you notice anything weird about that gas station? And I'm like, yeah. Wasn't that lady that winked at dad? And my dad's like, bah! 
Which one? Uh, so anyway, we finally arrived back in Pennsylvania, and my, my story to my mom included all these wonderful details of the 23 states that we saw and seeing the amazing Grand Canyon and getting pulled over by cops four times for speeding and visiting one brothel. 